Hey everyone, Bobo here. Um, just wanted to make a video to show um, how I set up the uh, Spartan Vortex to use the um, eGovernor. This is, uh, at the time of this video, uh, using the Vortex eGov interim firmware. So, the first part of the video is just going to cover setting up the Vortex. Um, I'm using a YGE speed controller so um, when we get to that part of the video um, unless you're using the same uh, speed controller it may not apply to you but the first part should anyway so uh, take some precautions as normal um, I like to remove the uh, main and tail blades um, it's something that's worked for me over the years if it spools up um, really nothing's going to happen uh, we're not going to get hit by a swinging blade and the tail's not going to swing around and strike something and if you need to get the power unplugged right away, you can. So, a um, couple of other preparations. Uh, the Vortex flight computer obviously needs to have been updated with the um, eGov interim firmware. Same thing with the data pod, they both need to be updated. Uh, your transmitter, for setup purposes, um, you need to be working in a flight mode. Um, that you can set a linear throttle curve that is 0% uh, at low stick and 100% at high stick and throttle hold off so once you've got that done then um, you go ahead and power up your uh, transmitter and uh, your flight computer now I've got my servos um, and RPM lead disconnected right now just for purposes of this video but um, go ahead and power everything up and we'll get on with um, activating uh, the eGov and getting the uh, flight computer set up to work with that. So um, first thing we need to get to is the setup menu for uh, transmitter. Use flight modes, yes. Um, what we want to check here is the throttle value. You want to make sure that when you're at low stick you should be reading 0%. Um, go ahead and go up to high stick you should be reading 100%. If you're not you need to get into the travel adjust or endpoints menu of your transmitter and in the throttle channel adjust those values so you get 100 and 0%. From here um, get out of that um, go down into throttle, select it, servo type uh, ESC, select that, governor type electric, select that. Servo direction uh, defaults to normal, um, that is probably going to be okay um, in most if not all cases. Throttle max endpoint, if you need to make any endpoint uh, adjustments from here on out they need to be done in this menu uh, in the data pod not in your transmitter okay so uh, defaults to 100 um, that works for the YGE ESC leave it there for now throttle idle endpoint same thing it defaults to 100 we'll leave that there for now it's asking for your gear ratio this is for the main rotor it's based upon um, on a heli like this your um, number of teeth on the main gear divided by the number of teeth on the pinion will give you your gear ratio. If you're not sure, go ahead and look it up uh, in your manual and um, or do the calculation yourself. Um, ask somebody and enter that here. On my heli it's 6.66. So um, that is my entry. Go to the next screen. It's asking for the number of poles of your motor. This particular motor is 8 poles, so I entered that. So go ahead and uh, enter the number of poles in your motor and then press S. And from here, we're done with the throttle setup. So we'll go out of that, get into the Gov menu. And here, go down to Governor. And for normal mode, the default is on. Uh, but for purposes of setup, um, change it to off. It doesn't matter right now if governor is on or off in one or two. Um, for me, anyway, because I'm using normal mode for setup, 
whatever mode you're using in on your transmitter for, for doing setup, make sure that's set to off. Default for hold is off, so you can just leave that there. Go down to rotor RPM. I have 2550 set up for normal mode. Go ahead and set the RPM that you want the Vortex to govern at for normal mode. Set it also for um, idle up one. Do the same thing for idle up two. And then set a value for hold as well, even though it's not governing in hold. Um, go ahead and, and enter a value in there that you feel uh, your heli is going to maintain, um, let's say during an auto. So come down even further, um, gov gain, hold the button down, it will get into the advanced menu, and we want to go down to advanced PID. So when you initially get into this, um, your value is going to be zero. So in order to um, initialize the uh, default values, you need to press the plus and minus buttons at the same time. For P gain, same thing for I gain, D gain, feed forward, and then you're done. So go back up to next, and we'll get out of here, and now we're at the uh, home screen. So from here, the Vortex flight computer is set up, but you'll notice that there is not an indicator for the uh, sensor on here. Um, that's because I don't have it plugged in. So what I'll do here is I've got a YGE90LV ESC. It's got a master and a slave lead. The master lead, of course, plugs into SV5. Um, the slave lead um, carries power, but it also carries the uh, signal lead for the phase sensor. So I've got the slave lead plugged into my receiver on the other side. What I did was pull the slave, or I'm sorry, the signal lead from the slave connector and put it into its own connector. Now that gets plugged into the RPM port of the flight computer and it goes in with the signal lead towards the top like that. Okay guys, sorry about that. I had to take a cut uh, due to the memory card and my camera filled up. But um, I believe where I left off was the uh, connecting of the signal lead. Um, I've got that connected now. The ESC is powered up and in the uh, datapod live or the home screen uh, you should see here uh, that before um, there was no indication that it was receiving any uh, phase sensor signal but now that it is plugged in and the ESC is powered on um, you see that there SEN that's uh, the data pod telling you that it's receiving a uh, signal from the phase sensor if you have it plugged in and it's not showing that it's possible that you have it plugged in wrong um, so make sure that it's plugged in correctly with the signal wire towards the top and then we should should be good to go. Um, the rest of this video covers uh, setup of the YGE speed controller. So if you have a Castle or Scorpion or Contronic, whatever hobby wing, um, you might not uh, you might choose to not watch the rest of this video. But um, if you do have a YGE, um, I'm going to go through uh, stick programming, um, and then I'm going to go through some uh, portions here of the prog card and um, so if you choose to stay, appreciate it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and power everything off for now. Um, actually, I powered off the ESC and I'll leave the flight computer powered because I want to show you stick programming. Some people choose this method over the um, stop and full method in the prog card to set the uh, uh, throttle channel um, calibration. So I'll go ahead through that real quick. Uh, I'm running in normal mode with a linear throttle curve and throttle hold is off. If I power up the ESC with the throttle in the high position, of course the master lead is plugged into SV5. It's going to see that and it's going to go into stick programming mode. And what you'll look for is a bunch of rapid beeping and flashing on the ESC. That's um, 
the ESC telling you it's received the um, high throttle endpoint uh, or stick position. Uh, when you get that, go ahead and lower the throttle all the way to the bottom and leave it there while it uh, learns the low stick position and um, it will give some confirmation beeps. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you what that's all about here. I'm going to power it up. We'll listen for the um, fast beeping and flashing, high stick, and then we will lower it to bottom stick. There's the fast flashing and beeping. Lower it to the bottom. And there's the confirmation and the uh, arming tone. So now the speed controller is live. But we want to go through and um, set up uh, the speed controller to work with the uh, external governing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and power that off. But that was stick programming if you wish to do that. But either way, if you want to get into the prog guard, you have to power off. And uh, let me power off on the other side here too. Um, Okay, to use the prog card, you need to plug in the um, master lead. I'm going to use an extension here. Make sure it's plugged in the right way. On the prog card, it shows uh, that the brown wire goes in on one of the ends. If you're going to stay with the stick programming method, you do not need to plug anything here for the receiver side. But if you want to go with the um, um, throttle calibration from the uh, prog card, then we need to connect the lead into uh, SV5. And of course, I'm going to fumble with it. And then connect that lead into the receiver. So we can do it that way. All right, so once these are connected, you can go ahead and power on the um, ESC. And it, it will detect that the prog card is connected, and it will um, go into programming mode. So we'll do that. You'll see this here. There. Um, the prog card is active. And it looks like I've got three minutes left to do this. So um, run through this here real quick. This light indicates which parameter it's in. And this light here indicates uh, which selection of that parameter. Um, this button will move the selection across this way. This button will move it down. And this is to con confirm. So the first page is indicated by solid uh, steady lights is showing that I have uh, 18 degrees for motor timing uh, or low timing. Um, that's what I have set for my motor. Go down to brake. Um, I don't know why it's set to smooth, but anyway, we want brake off. So we'll go brake off and we'll enter. Um, go down to uh, whatever type of um, cutoff you want. Um, I'm, I have LiPo and Slowdown selected. Go down to cutoff voltage. I have 3.1 volts selected. Number of cells. I've got a six cell setup, so I've got six selected. There's nothing showing for 10 or more cells. Special functions. If I want to do the throttle calibration here, I would need to go to stop and full. Stop means low throttle, 0%. So uh, if I want to do that, I come over with this button here, go to where it says stop, make sure I have low throttle and press enter. And then go right over to full speed and go up to high stick and press enter. So that's doing the throttle calibration through the prog card. So from this point, in order to get to the second page, and I've only got a minute and a half left here, 
you hold these two buttons down for like two or three seconds and then let go and you get this blinking and that tells you that you're on the second page so from here what we need to do is go down to startup speed we want to select heli middle press enter from here use this button to go back to governor and pick governor off and you select enter three times that puts it in external governing mode then come down to startup speed again go over to plain middle and press enter and you hear that uh, melody the confirmation tones that it's in an external governing mode um, and it's best to start with heli middle and plain middle and you can fine tune it from there from here you can go down and program the rest of it um, PWM I have it set at 8 uh, I'll just go ahead and press enter to confirm um, startup power I have it set for 4%. Um, you can use auto or 2%, whatever you feel is best, but I have it set for 4, works good for me. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to um, select freewheel on and then um, P gain and I gain don't mean anything. And then when you get down here, you can press enter and it will show you what you have set. Gov off, free wheel on. If I come down, P gain and I gain don't matter. Um, it's set for heli middle. Um, I had it set for plain middle. There's no need to go back and redo it. PWM is eight and startup power is four. So from here, all you do is power off the ESC. All right, guys, um, sorry that last segment ended abruptly. I uh, ran out of memory again. But anyway, um, that's basically it. Um, you should be good to go. Um, the default settings in the Vortex um, are very nice, um, starting with heli middle and plane middle. That'll easily get you into the air safely and with good performance. And uh, of course, you can um, adjust those parameters um, as you uh, need to to suit your particular helicopter and your power setup and if you have any questions of course uh, go to helifreak.com log in uh, go to the spartan rc uh, vortex forum uh, or you can go to the uh, spartanrc.com knowledge base um, there's a few different ways to uh, get assistance with uh, uh, your particular setup so we can get you in the air and um, get you enjoying the uh, eGov for the Spartan Vortex. I'll catch you guys later.